Hey everyone, Yanni plays here. So did you ever wanted to play Minecraft with your friends but you don't really want to host it on your own computer or your friend doesn't want to host it on his? Well, there are a lot of different servers out there to host your server. Some of them are free and some of them cost money. So if we go over here into the server plans, then you can see that they have a whole bunch of different server plans that you can buy. And there is actually one that is free. Now, free just means that you are very limited in players. You have a terrible amount of frame. Uh, you're going to see some ads in your panel, but hey, it's free. So you can't really say anything against that. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a free plan with Minehat from the beginning to the end, how to make yourself operator of the server, and how do you turn the whitelist on so that only your friends can join this server. So for that, we go to minehut.com and we are going to log in or sign up. Once you entered all your information, you're going to have to confirm your email. And as soon as you click on the confirm link, you are being auto-directed back here onto the Minehut into your dashboard. So let's go ahead and create a new server. For that, we click on a button on the top right. And now we can enter our server name. Once you have your server name in, you click on create. And now here you can see my server name and that is how we are going to log in. So as you can see, our server is currently hibernating. So we're going to activate that in just a second. And also want to point out over here, activate plan. You can see it is our free plan. And you can see so far, I did not have to enter my credit card information or anything like that. So it is absolutely free. So let's go ahead and click on activate. And now, of course, since I am going with the free one, I have to watch a video. So I have to wait 30 seconds before I can start up. So now that the time is up, we can click on continue. And you can see that the server now is starting up. And now you can see that our server is online. So let's go ahead and look over some of the settings that we have. So first down here, you can see the server software that we're using. I'm going to leave it on paper. Paper is actually a upgraded or updated version from Spigot. So we are just going to leave that there. Then server version, I would like to play on 1.17.1. And once I have all of that in, I click on update. And then it is going to restart my server. Then down here in server command is where we are going to make myself an operator. So pretty much the owner of the server. So for that, we are putting in the server command slash OP and then a space and then your Minecraft username. Make sure that the capitalization is correct and then you can send it. Now, when we scroll down a little bit more, I am going to set my server as not visible because I just want people on the whitelist being able to join. So now let's go up here and copy our server name. So we just select it, control C, and then we are going to log into Minecraft. So if Minecraft is started up, we go into multiplayer and we are going to add a server. I'm going to put my server name in so I know what it is. And then in the server address, we are going to put in our server address so now as you can see it currently says that i am offline so when i'm going to click on play here it is actually not going to bring me in my server it is going to bring me into the lobby from mine hut and then what we have to do is we have to do slash join and then my name so let's go ahead and click on play here we're going to connect and now we are in the mine hot lobby. All I'm going to do is I am going to hit T, open my chat window, and then I type in, type in my name. And now my server is going to start up. And as soon as the server started up, I'm being sent over there. So that just means that when you want to join your server, first the server is being started up. And as you can see at the bottom left, it's telling me, sending me to Yanni. So it's sending me to my server now because server is started up. And now I can start playing here. Now, if I type in slash OP Yanni again, you can see nothing changed. The player already is operator. So that means that everything is set up and I am the owner. So the command that we sent in earlier through the console works. So next, let's go ahead and make sure that nobody else can join. We go into the chat window again, and then we type in 
whitelist and then we turn the whitelist on. So now if we want to add somebody to the whitelist, we do whitelist, then we do add, and then we type in the name from the player that we want to add. And now the last Yeti is on the whitelist as well. So as you can see in a chat window, I changed everything over to creative, made sure that we don't have fire take and don't have any weather or daylight cycle issues and everything is set to peaceful. And now this server here is ready for the last Yeti and myself to play on. And what we are planning to do is a new series where we are doing random build swap. So pretty much one of us is starting to build and then we swap over and the other person is going to continue to build without knowing what we are planning to build. And then we swap back and forth a few times and at the end we're going to see did we got the end result that we started with or did the other person just completely went off track and built something completely different so if you want to see more about how this challenge works with all the rules and how much fun we're going to have make sure to hit the subscribe button or also check out yeti's channel i'm going to put his uh, channel name down into the description so you can hop over to his channel page and also give him a subscribe thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you at the next video